Broken Arrow, and joining me is Mary Ogle. Mary, tell us about this operation and your purpose. Okay. Well, A New Leaf is a nonprofit that started about 30 years ago, and we employ adults with developmental disabilities, and we do it through horticulture therapy. We have six greenhouses here, and we employ over 100 people. And what's your overall mission? What do you want to accomplish? We want to make sure that everyone with a disability can work in the community. So we train them here on greenhouse, we train them on the plants, on how to take care of the plants, how to water, and they learn that skill so that they can take that skill and earn a competitive wage out in the community. How did A New Leaf get started? Well, uh, we had a family, a local family, who had a daughter and they wanted her to have good employment and they looked all over for a place in um, the country and they found a place in Maryland that used horticulture therapy. So they came back to Broken Arrow and they opened up our first greenhouse. And we have clients who've worked here ever since they opened. Wonderful. So part of it is vocational training and part of it's horticulture therapy. Tell me a bit about the vocational training first. Well again, it's our job to make sure that everyone with a disability is working and active in their community. So they come to us, we find out what their interests are, what their likes and dislikes are, and then we find a job for them. Mm -hmm. We like them to work in our greenhouses, but we have these six greenhouses, but we also do a wholesale routes, like three wholesale routes every day. So our our clients make bowls from the plants that they grow, mm -hmm. and they make these arrangements, and then they sell arrangements to the flower shops okay. over, you know, in northeastern Oklahoma. So they grow it from the, the little seeds and cuttings all the way to the bowls and selling it in retail. So they're really covering a lot of different skills from the technical to the social and Right, well horticulture the therapy has been around since the 70s, right. and a lot of people with developmental disabilities have, uh, they don't have the best fine motor skills. So when they are are working with plants like little seeds and cuttings and two inch plants and four inch plants they are improving their fine motor skills mm -hmm. they also need to know what the name of the plants are how to care for the plants what they you know sunshade all of that so it improves their cognitive abilities and then finally just like you have a peer group at work and I have a peer group at work the, the adults with disabilities they have their own peer group so yeah. horticulture therapy is a great way to employ adults with disabilities and the more adults with developmental disabilities work in the community, the more independent they will become. I mean, we have to remember when they're five, they live with their parents, but right. when they're 35, they may still be living with their parents. But they need to be able to take care of themselves, cook and clean and uh, do their laundry and work and earn a paycheck. And that's what we do here. And those other life skills are also things that you work on developing with your clients while they're here? We do, just like in a corporate setting, how you would have special training maybe on communication or mm -hmm. how to do a presentation. Here we teach those same things. We teach small talk between coworkers. We teach money management, how to make change. Uh, we, we teach uh, about laundry and nutrition. We wanna make sure our guys are healthy. So we also, we make sure everyone is working. That's our primary goal, mm -hmm. but we try to do training on the side as well. So just like you would receive training at your workplace, right. we have training at our workplace. On life skills, that's yes. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now here in the greenhouses, um, tell me what are some of the products that you're producing? Okay. Well, we are a grower of bedding plants, house plants, vegetables, and herbs. And we just grow thousands of them in these six greenhouses. We've been doing it for 33 years and we feel our stock is really good and people comment about that it's good. It's really high quality, beautiful plants Thank that you, you guys are producing. And then in, this, in the winter time, we grow about 5,000 poinsettias. So what we always ask people is if you're in Northeastern Oklahoma and you're gonna buy your bedding plants or your vegetables or herbs, come to a new leaf because it's a win-win. You're buying from a nonprofit, so you help our clients and you help us be a good nonprofit, and you get a great product in exchange. Absolutely. Now, if people wanted to come and purchase their plants, there you have a retail location. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we we've, we've been here in this site for 30 some years, but we opened up a new store. I mean, our clients really feel good about what they're doing. They sell a lot of plants, so they thought we should open up a new store. So we opened up a new store around the corner, which is great because then our clients learn how to work the cash registers. Mm -hmm. They learn customer service, and they also have to make sure the plants look really good to sell. So if they're working in the greenhouse or they're working at the retail or they're selling our bowls on wholesale it's all different skill sets that they're learning mm -hmm. so we want to make sure our clients can work in the horticulture field anywhere in the, in the state
That's wonderful. Now, one some of your teams you have go out and do other jobs uh, right. in the community as well, right? Well, you know, I love to garden, but not everyone loves to garden. <laughs> and obviously you love to garden, but, you know, my husband doesn't like to garden as much. So if you um, come here and you want to work with us, but you don't like plants, that's okay. We'll find you a job in the community. We, we work at hotels, we work at animal shelters, we work at nursing homes, we work at churches. So just, we want anyone with a disability who is not working, we want them to work. So they need to call us and we will find a job for them. You know, so many people, when they have a disability, they might sit at home and watch TV. And that, that's not good for anybody. Right. Wouldn't be good for me, wouldn't be good for you, it's not good for them. Right. So it's really important that if you have a disability, you know, get your guardian, get your parent on the phone, have them call us and we'll find a job that's just for you that you can have passion for. One of our guys, you, he, when he first came here, he was afraid a lot and he would hide behind our ice machine. He was afraid that people were going to hurt him and stuff. He just, he hadn't been used to working. Yeah. And he, for two months he hid behind our ice machine and now he's our top salesman on our wholesale route. Excellent. And he was sick over the holidays and he, he finally came back to work and I said, are you sure you're okay to be back? And he says, oh Mary, my customers are waiting for me. <laughs> so he knew he needed to get back to work. So. I think we give our clients the self-esteem and they feel good about yeah. themselves because they're contributing members of society just like you and me. It must be a really rewarding job. For I you. love my job. I have the best job. Everybody should get it. People say to us, oh, you have such a heart. You work with people with disabilities and it's the other way around. They have to work with me, but I adore every one of them. It's such a blessing to get to work with my clients. Now, the community can, can come in here and visit and yep. see what you do with a monthly yep. program. Yep, every month we have tours that people can come and look at all of our stuff and meet our clients and maybe even make a bowl if um, make an arrangement if they're lucky. Um, just give us a call and we have website, we have Facebook, just give us a call and we'll take you for a monthly tour. But anyone who hasn't been in our greenhouses really needs to come, especially anyone who loves horticulture. They should come and check us out and meet our guys. Absolutely and they can also visit your retail shop and help support this wonderful business. That's right, they can buy stuff while they're here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks Kim for coming out.